it's me and so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your own customizable platform for your small animal. So the first thing you are going to need is some wood. I got mine from Michael's The Craft Store. They have pre-cut pieces of wood that are perfect sizes for making platforms and they have a bunch of different cool shapes and sizes so you can honestly go crazy in there and pick whatever sizes and shapes you want. You're also going to want to pick up something for the legs. I chose these wooden spools. They're perfect um, height in my opinion. And also I got little spools as well so I can have different variety of heights. You're also going to need some glue. I like using Elmer's glue because it is non-toxic and safe. Next thing is optional and that is paint. If you are going to be using paint, you need to make sure that it is non-toxic and water-based. And if you're not comfortable using paint for your small animal, you don't have to. Use it at your own risk. And you're gonna need some paint brushes. So the first thing I did was start off by figuring out how I wanted it and then I started to glue on the legs. Now when you're using Elmer's glue, it glues super good. Of course, you're going to need to let it dry for at least 30 minutes every single time you glue something on, but this glue really holds it. Then I moved on to gluing the legs onto the extra platforms. I decided that I wanted to have it kind of like a multi-tiered platform. And a tip to make sure it glues nice and secure, I recommend putting something heavy such as a pumpkin or something of the sort on top so that it can weigh it down. Once those pieces have dried, then I'm going to go ahead and decide where I want those other levels to be on the platform and then I am going to glue those down. And then we have the fun part and that is painting the whole thing. The best part about this type of platform is you can make it totally customizable to you and your hamster. Um, you can make it any type of design you want. You can paint it however you want so it's perfect for theme cages and everything like that. I'm also going to go a little extra and put on some stars so I'm going to paint those yellow and then I'm going to attach them to my platform. And then you are done. Of course, you are going to want to let this dry for at least 24 hours before giving it to your hamster just to ensure everything is dry. But then after that, you are done and you have an awesome hamster platform that is totally customizable to you and your hamster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Bye!